Are you all confused by audio compression? It really is not that hard, but if you don't want to deal with learning all the knobs, buttons, and dials here in DaVinci Resolve, I've got a plugin that's going to make it super easy for you to apply compression to your videos. The MV2 audio plugin from Waves does a great job and it's really simple to use. I'm going to show you how to use it. Now, when might you want to use a compressor? Check this out. So a great example of when you might want to use some compression, especially this MV2 plugin from Waves, is when we're vlogging like this. And then let's say I come over here, I put down the camera, and then I come back from the camera and I'm back over here. So now that I'm a little farther away, my voice and the levels of my voice are going to drop a little bit because I'm farther away from the microphone. We want to balance that out. So when I'm back here, you don't have to turn up the volume. And when I'm up here, you don't have to lower the volume, right? We want it to be consistent. So the Waves MV2 is going to help us do that. Now let's rewind this here and uh, let's hear it with the MV2 compressor applied so you can see the difference here. So here we are outside. One way you might want to use the MV2 is if we are outside vlogging, then we go ahead and put down the camera, stop it from shaking, and I back up. We have the MV2 active now. You can see it on the screen here. And this is just going to help balance out our levels, our dynamics, give us more consistent audio so that our viewer doesn't have to ride the volume knob when we're far away. And then when we get closer, it should just sound good and balanced. It's not going to make somebody have to ride the volume knob. So let's talk about why do we want to use a compressor on our audio. It's specifically our dialogue in this case. Well, when we're recording, there's going to be parts of our audio that are louder and parts that are quieter, right? And we don't want our audience and, and viewers to sit there and have to turn up the volume when it's quiet or turn down the volume when it's too loud. We want a good, consistent audio listening experience for our viewers. And a compressor, especially the MV2 here, is going to help you easily compress the louder parts, bring up the quieter parts, and it does it with just two sliders. It does all the work behind the scenes for you. You don't have to get too complicated and understand everything. You can use your ear and just listen to what the compressor is doing, and it's just going to help make your audio sound better and more consistent. And essentially what a compressor does is it helps reduce the dynamic range of our audio. Now you might be thinking, wait, don't I want a lot of dynamic range? Well, you do when you're recording it, but once you get it into post, we want to balance it out so that we've got good consistent levels. Now the quiet parts can be a little bit quieter and the loud parts can be a little bit louder, but we want a consistent listening experience for our viewer. It's just going to make your videos better and more professional. So just a few quick things here about the MV2 before we jump into Resolve and I show you how it works, which it's super easy. You guys are going to love this, but it will work on Windows as well as on Mac. Now, Waves does not officially, officially support DaVinci Resolve yet. Not sure why. Hopefully it's coming soon, but this plugin will work natively on both Windows, on Mac, and many of us, including myself, many people out there use it on both systems in DaVinci Resolve. It works great, and I've had no problems with using it at all. So keep that in mind while it's not officially supported by Waves. It does work fine. It does a great job, and it's something that I use all the time on my audio. All right, let's jump into Resolve. I'm going to show you the MV2 plugin. At the end of the video, I'll show you how to get it installed, but let's just take a look at it and see how it works. So I'm going to show you how to get the MV2 installed on your computer and into DaVinci Resolve. At the end of this video, you can jump ahead and check that out. But let's look at the effect here, how it works and how you use it. I'm in the Fairlight tab right now and uh, musical notes at the bottom here if you're not in Fairlight. Now the track that I want to apply this compressor effect to is track number two right here. So make sure you've got your mixer open. You want to come down to effects right here. If you don't see effects, click on the three little dots, check the effects box, and then you can have the effects right there. Click on the plus, down to dynamics, VST, and I've got a whole bunch here, but MV2 Stereo. Go ahead and click on that. So that is going to bring up the effect, and this is what it looks like. So we've only got three different sliders, one, two, and three, that we can work with here, which makes it really easy just for you to watch the meters and make easy adjustments without having to know details of stuff. So what are the three parts here? We have low level. So low level takes our quiet parts and raises them up a little bit, right? It kind of makes them a little bit louder so it's easier to hear. Our high level compressor brings down the loud parts a little bit. It's going to reduce the levels of those louder parts a little bit. So effectively what we're doing, we're taking our low, quieter parts and our louder parts and we're bringing them together. And that's going to prevent a viewer from having to ride the volume on their TV, their phone, whatever it might be. It's going to make more consistent audio for you. And then we have our output knob right here, and that's just going to help us adjust the output levels of the effect after it's processed by the compressors. Now, when we look at our sliders here, you see they've got numbers on them. So this is at what 
threshold is the compressor going to start to kick in. So you're going to see how they work as we start to uh, play through our audio here. Now I've already set my clip at good, reasonable levels. Uh, the louder parts are around minus 10 dB. So you want to set your levels for your clip first, get a good ballpark uh, reading for the levels of your particular audio clips that you're working with first before you bring in this compressor. All right, so now let's play through our clip here. And we've got some louder parts right in the beginning here. And we're gonna start with our high level compressor, which is your typical standard compressor uh, that you might use in the dynamics panel here. So let's play through and drop this guy down and see how it sounds. So here we are outside. One way you might wanna use the MV2 is if we are outside vlogging, then we go ahead and put down the camera, stop it from shaking, and I back up. We have the MV2. All right, so now it's getting to the part of the video where it's a little bit quieter. So we wanna bring these quiet parts a little bit louder. So to do that, I'm gonna use the low level compressor and I'm gonna boost this up and that's gonna make the quiet parts a little bit louder for us. So let's uh, let's listen in and see how this does. Login, then we go ahead and put down the camera, stop it from shaking and I back up. We have the MV2 active now. You can see it on the screen here. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Here's the difference. Listen to the difference here with and without both of these low level and high level compressors. Here's without. Too active now, you can see it on the screen here. And here's with. So that our viewer doesn't have to ride the volume knob. When All right, so can you hear the difference there, right? Now let's play from the beginning, a little before, and then I'll go back, play it again after so you can hear the difference between the two. It's before. So here we are outside. One way you might want to use the MV2 is if we are outside vlogging, then we go ahead and put down the camera, stop it from shaking, and I back up. We have the MV2 active now. You can see it on the screen. Okay, so that was with it off. Now let's apply it and see if we have more consistent audio or less of a difference between the quiet parts and the loud parts. Check it out. Our outside vlogging. Then we go ahead and put down the camera. Stop it from shaking. And I back up. We have the MV2 active now. You can see it on the screen here. And this is just going to help balance out our levels, our dynamics, give us more consistent audio. So what'd you think? Could you tell the difference there, right? Big difference. Now, it still sounds like I'm a little bit farther away, which you want. I mean, it doesn't want to sound like you're in the exact same spot, right? When you're close to the camera versus far away. But you want to be able to hear when I'm farther away from the microphone just as good, right? You want it to be clear, intelligible. You want to be able to hear it good. And this MV2 compressor is going to do that job for you. I've used this on tons of dialogue already. It does a fantastic job. And you can see I reduced my output a little bit too, just to kind of fine tune and balance everything. So I'm not, you know, getting up into the red too much on my meters, but the MV2 here does a fantastic job. I love this plugin. I've been using it a lot lately and it is very similar to using your compressor as well as the makeup slider in DaVinci Resolve, but it's just easier because it's only three sliders. You don't have to change any knobs, buttons, dials, no attack, hold, release, or anything like that. The MV2 is an easy to use compressor. That's really just going to help bring your audio to the next level and make it better for your viewers to watch. So now that you've seen how the MV2 works, let's talk about how to get it installed on your machine, whether you're on PC or Mac, here's how you do it. You wanna jump on over to the Waves website, waves.com. And the first thing you need to do is download Waves Central. This is the software that allows you to install all of the plugins from Waves or any of the ones that you purchase. It's easy to find. Again, from the homepage here, you can go ahead and click on Downloads. And then you're gonna see right here, Wave Central latest version. Go ahead and click download. Once you click on that, you're gonna see you can get the Mac version or the Windows version. I'm on Mac. If you're on Windows, grab that one. Go ahead and download it, get it installed. And when you open it, it's gonna look a little something like this. So you've got all of the plugins that are available from Waves right here. You can search through the different versions here because there are some plugins that might not be in version 14, the current one, um, if you're looking for anything specific. But scroll through and you can find the ones that you're looking for or just come to the search button right here and search MV2. Boom, there it is, the MV2. And you can just click on the little checkbox there. And then you would come over here and you click the install button right there and it would install it on your machine where all your VST plugins go. In here, you can also see some of the sale that they have going on. You can see all compressors, $30 over there, um, different things that they've got available. They're always running sales. If something you want is not on sale, just wait a little bit and it's probably gonna go on sale. So while you're installing any of the plugins here, make sure DaVinci Resolve is closed. Once the installation is complete, go ahead and open up DaVinci Resolve. And for me, the plugins automatically popped in there and they just showed up once I opened DaVinci Resolve. Because Resolve does search through, at least on Mac, it does search through your computer and will pull in any VST plugins that you might have on your computer. But here's Here's how you can make sure that they're loading up in Resolve. Back in DaVinci Resolve here, if you go to DaVinci Resolve at the top, down to Preferences, make sure it's System at the top, come on down to Audio Plugins, and right here, you can point to the folder where your plugins live if you know where they are, and you should see them also down here, see what's available and what you can use. Now, if you're not sure where your 
computer keeps those plugins. On Mac, you can see where mine are right here, but just do a search of your computer for, you know, VST3 or VST plugins, and it should pop up, and then you can see what that path is. You can add it in here, then you want to come and save right here, and then you may need to restart DaVinci Resolve. I don't know, because like I said, they loaded right up for me, but if you don't see them, restart Resolve. And then once you're in there, and you're in Fairlight, you can come to your effects right here, and you should see the MV2 plugin in there underneath Dynamics and VST. And just to show you real quick, you will also see this in your effects library in both the edit tab as well as Fairlight. So effects right here, you got your audio effects and VST effects. Now I've got all the Waves ones installed, but I could just come and find my MV2 right here, MV2 stereo. And if I wanted to apply it to just a clip instead of an entire track, you can do that by clicking, holding, and then just drag and drop it onto a particular clip. And then it'll be applied only to that clip, not to the entire track. However, for me, I always apply it to the track level for the most part because my recording situations are the same and I want it applied to the entire track. So that is the MV2 here in a nutshell, guys. It is a fantastic plugin. I've been using it on tons of audio. If you like this plugin, check out Clarity VX. That thing is amazing for background noise reduction. It does a fantastic job. Love all the Wave stuff. None of these videos are sponsored by Waves, but I do have an affiliate link in the description below. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and hit that link up and check it out. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Get some good compression on your videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.